Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Danny from CatchForChrist.net, and today we're going to be memorizing James 1, 5. As always, we're going to be using the Scripture Typer Bible Memory System app. Highly recommend it. Please see the first video on this playlist for a more in-depth tutorial on how I like to get the most out of this app um, from my point of view. But it is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to jump right into it. You're going to hit My Verses from the home screen, hit the plus sign, hit New Verse, Choose uh, your book or your letter in this case. Just type in the verse notation. You can do multiple verses, but we'll just stick with one verse for today. You can choose your translation, and then you can put the verse in a collection if you like to. I'll just put this in verse of the day. And then hit import verse text. It'll appear below. Check it out, and then hit save. And then just scroll down to wherever the verse is. Yes, and you're going to do um, a three-step process. The first step is typing it. All you're going to do is hit the first letter of each word, and it should turn from gray to black. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all mm -hmm. without finding fault, and it will be given to you, James 1.5. Now, as you see, when you make a mistake, it'll hit, um, it'll turn red, and it will, um, if it's on the second and third step, it'll leave like a red heat signature. Um, so I know this verse already, so I'm going to skip to the second step, which is memorize it. And it's going to take away half of the words. Um, and I highly recommend that you recite the verse as you are reviewing it or as you're learning it. Um, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. And it will be given to you, James 1, 5. Now, if you hit memorize it again, it'll um, show the other half of the words, and you're still essentially filling in the blanks, but you're still going to hit the first letter of each word. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you, James 1, 5. And the final step is to master it. You're going to... Type the verse, still hit the first out of each word um, without any on screen helps. Um, the reason, one of the reasons why I say um, I encourage people to uh, recite it as they're memorizing it is because as you're reciting, you're also hearing yourself recite, you're also reading it as you're typing it. So you are interacting with the verse in multiple ways all at the same time, which is why I think it's a great method. So let's see. Um, but mm -hmm. if, oh, look at that, made a mistake. <laughs> It's a great method. Uh -uh, you're wrong. Anyway, so if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. James 1 5. And then once you hit 100%, you might struggle, um, as I often do, um, to get 100% the first time. But once you are able to get 100%, I'd like to encourage people to try to get 100% accuracy at least three times. This will help you in the long run, I believe, as you. Um, when you have to review the verse in the future, because you can get it pretty much down pat the first time. After that, the reviews should be pretty um, or relatively easy for you, um, in my view. Now, my accuracy threshold is set at 96%. That means that if I get 96% accuracy or higher, it'll say um, you've mastered this verse. And that means that if I review this verse tomorrow and I get at least that accuracy threshold, it will advance the review frequency to every two days, and three days, four days. So on and so forth. So if I go to review, it'll show you what verses you have coming up. It'll give you a little countdown. And this way you don't have to worry about um, remembering uh, which verses you have to remember. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty great app. But uh, thank you for watching. This is Danny from CatchForChrist.net. Always read verses in the context. Have a great day and God bless.